Marvel Ultimate Alliance. This game came out in 2006. Fuck. Is that long ago? Came out for the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox, Xbox 360, PSP, and the Game Boy Advance. Oh my god. This game was a direct successor to the X-Men games that had came out before it. A dungeon crawler, basically a Diablo ripoff, <laughs> but fucking in a good way. You wanna fucking rip off a game? Rip it off in a good fucking way. And this shit came out perfectly. The X-Men games were a fucking hit. Love played both, both of those. Those came out for, what, PlayStation 1? No, PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox. Uh, there was two of those. And then we had this one. This one up the fucking ante with, as far as characters. Just blew that shit out the fucking water. Uh, one thing about these games, the difficulty. They, they couldn't quite get it right. That fucking... That point to where Lori Diablo, where you just wanted to fucking grind to get that fucking rare item and all that. They had rare items in this game, but they weren't too hard to find. You just beat the villain, you get the fucking rare item. It's done. It's over. And where the shit? There were no. There were like items that were specific to each character. You beat a villain and be like, oh, you got Spider-Man's wristbands and <laughs> shit. It's like, okay, give him the Spider-Man. There were no like uber fucking items you could get where you'd be overpowered. Well, no, it's not overpowered, but super powered and shit or anything like that. So, never really bothered with the fucking. I would just. There's a setting in the game where you can put it on where equip items. Equip best equipment. There we go. Done with that shit. So, that's one place where I feel they missed out. They didn't fucking capitalize on that where you could get that fucking grind going be like oh i want to go back and play the replay value in this game is not that great you can pretty much get all the costumes and all the characters on one playthrough but you gotta play through it the game is fucking epic you go to fucking asgard you go to greenwich village to dr strange's house chill there you go to fuck you go to the fucking scroll home world while galactus is eating that bitch you go everywhere in the Marvel Universe you can think of, you fucking go there. This game is epic in scope. Gameplay is awesome. Leveling up your characters is addictive. Get your different costumes and a lot of collectibles. Fantastic fucking game. But after this game, shortly after this game, Activision lost their fucking rights to the characters and so this game is not available anymore you can't fucking get it on demand it's no longer in the marketplace they gave them a set date to pull it off the shelves and pull it off the marketplace so the only way to get it is through ebay amazon aftermarket type shit but if you want a fucking marvel game a great fucking marvel game something to tide you over until fucking ultron get this fucking game it's fucking good been playing through it i played played through it multiple times like i said it's not a grind it's not it doesn't have that replayability where you're like ah i need to find this i need to find that but it's fucking fun fun ass game marvel ultimate alliance ultimate alliance 2 not quite as fun they changed the gameplay up and it was Okay, I'll talk about that one later, but great game, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Find it on Amazon, eBay, something. Peace.